Hi, I'm Amy Shannon from Exposed Mobility Impaired Denied. And um, this is a little bit different than my uh, regular um, reporting and videos. Um, I wanted, wanted to do a call out to um, anyone who's watching this or you may share it with, and I would appreciate it if you do, because I would like to hear from those who have, um, who are also mobility impaired and you don't have to talk to me. You could send me an email um, at uh, amyshan75 at gmail.com. Um, I'll put my email in the descriptive link below. Um, tell me your story, um, and I would be glad to talk about it. If you want to talk about it, then um, I, can, I would love the opportunity to have uh, people on the show and talk about how, um, whether they were uh, mobility impaired from the beginning, whether they're temporary mobility impaired, or, um, you know, now they're permanently um, mobility impaired. And that doesn't necessarily mean you're paralyzed, but that means that you have to use some type of mobility aid to get around. Um, also, I'd like to hear stories from people who's um, you know, their experiences, especially getting out in the public, being, trying to be as independent as you possibly can, because independence for each person may vary. It could be to even being independent could be like, I want to read this book. And there you go. Uh, this is what I use to read a book. Um, while I'm also, while I'm mobility impaired, uh, if I'm walking around my apartment, I hold on to things unless my legs or feet are really bad. And then I do use my wheelchair. Um, but with that said, I have um, I have family that um, helps me. Um, sometimes I forget that I can't do certain things that I used to do. So be honest, it's funny because uh, I have only a couple of chores around the house and one is folding laundry, sometimes doing laundry and putting away clean dishes and being very careful not to break the glass. Been there, done that. And sometimes I can cook for myself and usually it's, uh, I eat very simple and I eat like a kid. So, but I don't care, food is food and it's good. So is my coffee. So if you're, um, and this is a call out to anyone who views this video. Um, you know, also, if you want to share photographs or video images from where you're from and places that make it very difficult for you to get in and out, say your favorite coffee is, um, at this cafe, or it could be uh, Dunkin' Donuts or Tim Hortons, which that's my favorite, but they don't have Tim Hortons around here. I tried, I wrote a letter, no response. Um, that seems to happen a lot. But anyways, with that being my favorite copy, I have to buy it at the grocery store or on this. But that's my daughter as well, because she invited me to, when we were in Niagara Falls, I tried Tim Hortons and never looked back. <laughs> anyway, so moving forward, if you're in any place and you have trouble, say you're using a walker or you're using a cane, and it is not easy to open a door when you're using that. A cane, maybe, crutches mm, kind of need help. Um, now they have those, if you broken your ankle or your foot, you can wheel yourself around and the thing you put your knee down on, um, like a little scooter for your knee, I don't know. Um, I've seen people use those and they seem kind of awkward, but um, I've never used one, so I can't say. Um, so definitely, if you, um, if you have a YouTube channel like I do, 
Um, my YouTube channel is a variety of things. They're kind of like all about me, not me per se, but my work for, um, and that's why I just use this YouTube channel to create um, the uh, exposed mobility impaired denied. Um, but it's something that is um, really important. I want to get out and do some more videos and um, some imaging that I've been um, kind of just not feeling up to going out. Um, so there will be more outside videos to come while I've been um, not feeling so great. Um, I'm still suffering from pneumonia and sometimes my depression hits me a little bit too hard and I barely want to do anything. But having a purpose is so important and um, now it's kind of like for me, I, I, going to, I want to get out more and I am writing lists of more people that I want to send letters to. I have sent several letters and we've gotten a few responses. I sent a letter to Dunkin Donuts and I received a phone call, which I was surprised because usually I was expecting either a, oh, you know, a form letter um, or a gift card, lifetime gift card for free coffee and whatever else you want. Not that that's going to happen. <laughs> um, but it would. Anyways, um, local businesses, um, we have local businesses in our area that have become, I don't know if they call them franchises or chains. Um, it's a family run business, um, but it's expanded over the years and be as very popular in my particular area. Um, so, but even with their new constructions, um, they're redoing the their old stores, buying the land for a bigger store and then selling off the old stores. Um, some of them are very small because of the little land they have some gas stations and gas, I mean, gas pumps, but some don't. Um, now they're expanding, not just their stores, but their inventory. But um, one thing I noticed is that they, the doors, they may be light, not all doors are light, um, but still you have to hold on to one and, with one hand and get around the door to, to get in. So uh, like I've mentioned before, it's easier for me to exit or enter to the left, um, which normally if, you, uh, if there's only one door, you enter it from the right, um, or if someone holds the door. And it's really difficult because if you're right-handed, it's harder to get into, hold on to the door and maneuver around the door itself. Um, at some point in the future, I will kind of demonstrate those, um, this, you know, the way it works and the little tricks that I use. But um, going back to what I was saying, if, you or someone you love is mobility impaired and you use you have to use little tricks to get in the out of businesses where the doors are not automatic or um, when they have handicap spots that on one side is against a curb or some type of um you know some it's just like i've seen like walmarts and this is just a, a an example, um, I'm not, um, I don't have any one um, promoting or using uh, my, um, I mean, it's not promoting, it's it's just me. I can't think of a stupid word and oh, sponsoring, that's what it is. I don't have anybody sponsoring me. Um, so any mention of businesses that I may talk about at this current time, I don't have any sponsorship. I have a little bit of support. And um, if you could like my videos, subscribe to them, um, you know, especially to this video series, um, 
and share them. I want people to watch them. I want people to be aware of not just mobility impaired persons, but those um, who aren't mobility impaired. You never know. One day you could be um, an elderly person in a wheelchair using a walker and you might not be able to go places you want to go. So um, if you see someone out there using a scooter or using a wheelchair or whatever type of device, take a look and see what, you know, what what's important and um, how they get around and how difficult it can be for some people if they're not going into auto, uh, using automatic doors. Um, or this is something that I've always been nervous about. Uh, there's a couple of times I have to go to my doctor's office. Um, they have the buttons to get in and out and the office is on the second floor and I use the elevator. What if the elevator was not working? I would not be able to get up the stairs. Um, and actually I was thinking about this. Um, I had thought about it before. You know, what happens? I call them and say I have to reschedule because I can't go up to the office. That's probably what I would have to do. Um, the other, uh, not too long ago, I had gone to the doctor's office and the elevator worked going upstairs and I went into and had my appointment. And when I was leaving, my, my, my doctor came with me. Um, he said uh, that he... Um, he wanted to see if the elevator was still working. And I'm like, well, it worked when I came up. He said that the second floor call button would not call the elevator. The elevator works. The call button did not work. So my doctor, who has had hip surgery, and he's one of the nicest doctors I've ever had in my entire life, um, he walked down the stairs and pressed the button. Um, got on the elevator, came up, let me in, and then he walked down the stairs, back down, and I met him downstairs. But um, that was very, I didn't know, what would I have done if I didn't, he didn't tell me, um, or he didn't take the time to go down the stairs, push the button for me, and send the elevator up to me. I don't know what, you know. What would I have done? Have to sit and wait for an elevator? Crawl down the stairs? I don't know. Um, so, and I had gone there because I was for my checkup on my pneumonia. So, and then of course, in my own, um, I live on the fourth floor in a luxury apartment building. That's just what they call it. Some fancy name for nice apartments, I guess. Um, and... I can walk maybe as far as where our crash chute is, um, but it's hard because I have to hold on to things. Sometimes <clears throat> my son helps me, but if it's light enough, I can do it myself. Um, as I said, when I walk around my apartment, I hold on to things. Um, but I always wondered, you know, what if there was a real fire in the building and they turn off the elevators, how would I get down the stairs? I don't know. My um, son said he would run down and get a fireman to carry me down the stairs while he carried my wheelchair. Ideal? No. Um, I had my first experience on medical transportation where they um, they send a van and then you they, you are lifted up in your wheelchair and they lock you in. And I tell you, it was a little nerve wracking because you're your chair is locked and then they put this huge seatbelt over you. And, and I'm thinking if I was just sitting in a regular seat with a seatbelt, I would felt a lot more secure because you feel every single bump. And when I had to leave, I had to back out. And at first they wanted uh, the woman that was taking me home, wanted me to back out. And I was nervous because I couldn't, turn all the way to see where I was going so I asked her if I turned it off if she could just pull it out my um 
wheelchair is both electric and manual, but manual only works if someone is actually wheeling me. Um, so that was um, interesting. Uh, you're kind of out of control when you're on a lift and you're um, still in your chair. So it was still, uh, it was an interesting ride, but I must say, Those people that helped me that day, um, anytime I want or need medical transportation, I will be uh, asking to use their particular uh, transportation because they were wonderful for me. Um, when I left, um, when she dropped me off, I told her she could drop me off in front of my building. And... She asked me if I needed help, and I said no, because I was going to go pick up a few packages in the package room, which is just a building away. Um, as long as they're light, I can go down and get them. Now, I don't do any heavy packages. It's too much. My son comes down and gets me or, or helps me, or he gets them for me. Um, and when I came out, she was still sitting there waiting for me to get in my building. When I got to my door, I was able to open it from the left side. Um, she asked me if I needed help. Um, actually, she ran out, opened the door for me, and then she asked me if I was okay. And I said, yep, I'm going to get my mail, and then I'm going to go upstairs. So she sat outside in her car, in her van, and waited till she saw me get on the elevator. And that was... You know, something I was like, wow, this lady, you know, she was great. And um, and so was the gentleman that, that brought me to my appointment. Um, so, you know, this is also a shout out to those people who help others. Um, you know, it, opening doors that, you know, you may think it's a small little thing. I mean, even when you're walking, someone holds the door open for you. It's like, oh, thank you. Um, I've had situations where I'm in my chair or my scooter, or even when I was using a walker, that people would hurry up to get past me so I wouldn't slow them down. And then I had where I thought people were just rushing me, uh, rushing up to, to get past me because I was slow. They were actually just rushing up to open the door for me. And a few times, it wasn't even the door they were going in. So I really appreciate people who still have kindness and generosity. And in a world today, you don't know if there's more people who are kind or more people who aren't. So, and also, so I'm shouting out to everyone Um first responders, um, doctors and nurses, and people, just regular people holding someone, holding the door for someone or giving them a smile because you never know what could be coming your way, you know? Um, and to be honest, when people are kind, I'm more surprised than if they're not so kind. Um, but one thing I found that even if someone is not so kind, if you be kind to them, sometimes they don't know what to do or say. It's like they're looking for an argument or a fight. So, um, and um, so with that call out and thank you um, for anyone who helps us who are mobility impaired, um, I just, it's not easy and some days are very, very difficult for me. Um, uh, emotionally, mentally, sometimes I just don't know what I feel like, but this has given me purpose. So another thing, and I, if I already mentioned this before, um, I'll have my email address in the link description. Also, um, in your neighborhood, where you can go, where you can't go, or if you're just a regular person 
I don't mean regular person. I mean, um, I'm saying that wrong, but I mean a person who is not mobility impaired to help people out on things. Um, you know, you don't have to go up and confront someone. If someone is parked illegally in a handicapped spot, take a picture of the car. Make sure you take a picture to show that they do not have a lanyard in their hanging from their window or they don't have a um, handicap license plate um, and take a photo of it. And you can send it to me and I'll post it. When I see something, I take a picture of it because it's wrong. Sidewalks that are blocked. Stores that have stairs to enter, but no ramp. Or there are businesses like I have seen um, where there is a ramp, but to get in the actual building, um, besides it not being an automatic door, there's a step up. So you might be able to do a step up with a uh, crutch or crutches, excuse me, uh, various types of crutches, uh, walker, maybe, um, cane, but in a wheelchair, you don't want to do a wheelie in a wheelchair. I've, I, my chair has wheelie bars and I eventually have to get a new one, but it's most of the weight is in the back and I was going up a slight incline and I actually did pop a wheelie and I was so happy for those wheelie bars, but it really scared the hell out of me. So, um, when I go up any slight incline, I always lean forward, um, or if I like have some groceries or a package, I was I put them on my my um, lap with, if I can, and still try to distribute the weight. Um, hopefully, I will be able to uh, save up for the wheelchair that I really want um, because it has uh, some nice features. And it also has a better weight distribution. Um, right now, I, I deal with what I have. So in kind of a conclusion, if you are mobility impaired, let me know. Let me know how you feel about um, things that I am proposing. I have written a lot of letters, handwritten letters, emails um, to a multitude of companies and have only received a callback um, or a couple of emails um, from government officials. And I've resent some letters um, and I found more government officials to send letters to. And I am making a personal list. So when I go out, there's areas that I want to kind of scope out. Um, so, you know, send me your photographs. If you have uh, videos or something, um, we I can uh, give you a Google Drive to upload them because uh, videos don't always, sometimes they're too big. Um, so that could be an option. If you would like to be on this uh, video series um, because you have uh, an opinion and you want to share your story, I would be happy to have you on here. Um, always click, uh, you know, if you like this video, click like. If you um, have something to say, feel free to put a comment in um, the sec uh, in the comment section. Uh, share the videos, uh, social social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, excuse me, X. Um, if you're not sure, uh, if you want to tag me in it um, and you're sharing, um, my X is uh, at A-M-Y-S-H-A-N underscore seven two. So that's my X account. Um, and, you know, if you share on X, um, you can do that. I do have a Facebook page and the link is in the top of um, my channel. It's, you know, where the banner is and it has links there for my Facebook page. So 
uh, feel free to like that page. Um, I post photographs, and I share my videos, um, and I talk about things that I am working on. Um, so this is, uh, you know, show me what your neighborhood's like. And if there's positive stuff too, you know, it's not all, all about being, you know, everybody's being, um, doing the, the things that aren't right, at least in my eyes and things that hinder people from being able to get in and out of places. Um, so that's one thing. Um, and, uh, so show the good stuff too. Um, you know, a place that has a lot of, um, has automatic doors and it's other than a, a large grocery store. Um, smaller stores that you go to, family owned, um, privately run, convenience stores, things like that. They, uh, they don't have automatic doors. Um, send me lists of places that you know do not have automatic doors and I would be happy to write them a letter. If you wish to write letters on your own, um, that would be fine. I have, uh, I can give you um, some pointers and tell you how to find the appropriate persons in your area to, to write letters to. I thought about going way up to the president, but right now we're kind of in the middle of figuring out who the next president is. So um, I'm not going to say go vote, but... And, um, but I have been, uh, I've researched all the, the congressmen and senators um, within New York State. Um, I've written a letter to the governor. So I will uh, have another uh, video talking about what um, my letters say and um, responses that I have gotten. Um, I have did responses before. Um, I'm hoping uh, that I'll have a few more responses before I record my next video. But thank you for uh, watching. Um, again, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Um, my videos drop every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I record um, a couple weeks in advance. Um, but uh, I hope to, once I'm feeling up to it, getting more outside footage and send me your stuff. You know, I taken upon myself to read all the laws uh, that have to do with mobility impaired persons or disabled persons. Um, I read um, news about disability um, and things that are happening about um, disability. I, I, email, uh, I get newsletters from Disability Scoop and some other um, newsletters. I get notifications from all of the um, public officials that I have written, um, written to. I wrote two letters to the editor, one with the Daily Gazette and one with the Saratobian, and those edit, uh, letters have never been published. So um, I am waiting to see what happens next. You know, the next step might be um, news media, but I'm not sure right now. I'd like to get some more responses, not just responses, but action. You know, it would be very nice. We could live in a world where anybody could go where they wanted to go, even if they're in a wheelchair. So thank you for watching. Again, if you have any comments, put a comment. Share me your photos. I'd be glad to expose some people um, or shed a light on examples of what uh, what makes uh, places easily accessible.
you know, just because something's accessible doesn't mean it's easily accessible. So anyways, this has been Amy Shannon from Exposed Mobility Impaired, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.